Hi there, welcome once again to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through a day of what I eat, what I eat in a day, what I'm eating today. And I have a few disclaimers to make before we get into that video. Number one, I do not like bread, I do not like oats, and I do not like noodles. So you're probably not gonna be seeing those in this video. Number two, I run out of tomatoes, so you're not gonna be seeing any meals with tomatoes in them. And number three, I don't like hot beverages unless, you know, they're nice and tasty. So plain tea, plain coffee, I don't like those. Probably not going to be seeing those. I'm probably not going to have a hot beverage today anyway. Circling back to why I don't like bread, I went to a boarding school for six and a half years. And every single day of those six and a half years while I was at school, they fed us bread for breakfast every morning so by my not so accurate calculations that is it's a lot it's a lot of times so i'm just tired of bread and i have vowed to not eat bread unless it is absolutely necessary and as long as i'm buying my own groceries at Riz and all that it's not necessary so, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the smoothie bowl is not my breakfast breakfast it's like my pre breakfast because being in the kitchen for every meal is a struggle right so what I like to do is and this is if I didn't have leftovers from last night I make smoothies or smoothie bowls if I didn't have um, if I didn't make dinner the previous night if I had made dinner last night I would have made enough to have leftovers this morning so then I would have just had those leftovers this morning but because I didn't I make a smoothie bowl when I wake up right and then at around 11 12 ish sometimes maybe up to 1 p.m. I'll have my brunch which is going to be my proper breakfast and lunch and then I usually eat an early dinner so I will cook for around six or seven that's when I'll have my dinner and then when I do that then I can make um, leftovers I can make enough to have leftovers the following morning last night though I just did not 
feel like cooking what was i doing yesterday oh yeah yesterday i was doing i was busy doing my hair so i didn't really have the time or energy honestly to make dinner so i was just picking and eating fruits here and there and then i slept early so that my stomach doesn't start rumbling so that's that is this situation but it is also a really good way to have a lot of vitamins so i would recommend doing it anyway you can have it as a snack in the evening you can have it at any time honestly but i choose to have it in the morning as my pre-breakfast when i don't have leftovers from the night before does that make sense yes it does great it's finally dinner time and I am making spaghetti I'm making soupy spaghetti um, today most of my meals have been quick meals because I did have classes and assignments to be doing during the day and now I'm gonna make spaghetti but I do want to share this recipe with you guys because it's it's really good um, I learned it a while back when I had a toothache and I couldn't really chew so it was one of those meals that helps me out in that situation so i'm gonna share that with you guys and if you do actually try it out let me know what you think about it and you're welcome because you will not regret it okay okay so we have onions and carrots in here which are sauteed a little bit and then to that i added some pre-cooked chicken strips afterwards i'm gonna put in my spaghetti which is also pre-cooked Mix that up a little bit and afterwards we're gonna add in this chicken stock which um, I made and added a beef cube in it just to give it a little bit more flavor don't be stingy with the chicken stock okay it has all the flavor that you need mix that up a little bit then I'm just gonna let that boil for a little bit and then I'm gonna check back with you guys when all that is done and ready okay and I need a fork and a spoon to eat this because of the soup and the spaghetti kind of contradicting items but it's really really good and I do recommend you guys try it if I could I'll, I'll cook for all my subscribers but that is the end of this what I eat in a day and I would just like to say that I don't always have a constant um, 
timetable when it comes to food because I could eat pasta today and not eat it for the next two weeks and I do like cooking and I do like um, learning different recipes so I'm always trying out different stuff in the kitchen and it's just not it's not tiresome for me so I, I really do have like a wide range of food but because this was a what I eat in a day and like I say today was a day when I did have classes so I did make pretty quick stuff like the fruit bowl in the morning it's literally just putting fruit into a blender that's all and then potatoes potatoes are like my go-to when I don't have time or like when I'm feeling lazy because you just have to peel them and cut them and that's it you know so and spaghetti it's quick as well everything that I made today was pretty quick but there are other days when I have cravings for things which are longer and more intensive and require a lot more time and energy to cook I'm open for them you know let me know what are your favorite stuff to eat when you are um, at res or at home because I don't think I don't believe in the whole if you're a university student you need to eat like a university student what does a university student even eat like what does that even mean in fact university students should eat best because we need to use our brain a lot of the time so we need to keep ourselves very well fed yes so guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know um if you're gonna try out any of the meals that i made today and what you think of them and i will see you guys next time maybe i'll do what i eat in a week another time so that you guys can see more of what um i actually like what my timetable what my food timetable actually looks like and yeah bye <music>